Alright, so, let's hope the audio is good, and um, if so, then what's going on, guys? So, hang on a second, as always. Alright, so, let's... Alright, hope... fantastic. So, what's up, guys? So, uh, I know that I, I had a couple people actually in the live chat, and I had one person commented saying my last stream is a bit short. I do agree. Uh, so we're going to try and go for a bit longer this time. Do not hold me to this, but I'm going to try to go for two hours. So let's see what goes down. So this is, uh, <laughs> granted this is uh, version 1.0, I'd say. But, um, oh, hi, uh, Isaiah. How's it, uh, Isaiah? I think it's Isaiah. I, I, if I misread your name, I'm sorry. But uh, what's up, dude? Or do that. I don't know. So um, this is uh, a deck that we're playing with. Basically what I did is I took the uh, the Asia... The, the deck that won the uh, the Asia qualifier or whatever, the Zodiac deck, that was just, like, pure stun. And, um, yeah, I, hang on a second, let me fix this real quick. I cannot... Alright, can you get... Okay, good, good, good. But, yeah, so, um, I took the Asia qualifier championship winner or whatever the fuck it was, and, um, I basically just made an anti-meta deck instead of playing Zodiac. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't really, uh say whether or not it's good it's just kind of a deck i've been toying with uh this is the deck i think is more competitive but i'm contemplating cutting the uh the artifacts as good as they are um that's another deck i, I just got a bunch of a bunch of random kind of miscellaneous decks like this is uh what i call bamboo stun which is uh more or less just a trap tricks deck with a bunch of bamboo swords which um those cards actually aren't bad um so yeah we're gonna toy with this see where it takes us and um yep that'll be that i play some singles, start it off. Get us warmed up, because I haven't played all day. I've been uh, just toying around on my Xbox, basically. I went out on a shoot, actually. It was one of the first shoots uh, me and my group have ever done. You guys will know I'm a videography major. So. Or, uh, multimedia video is, uh, I think, the the precise uh, name for it. Plug in my charger real quick. Alrighty. So. Ah, damn it, I'm doing it again. My bad. I, I still gotta get used to that, you guys. So, yeah, just to make sure. Is it still, still fucking up? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, whatever. So, we open up two Luna. Two Luna's not great, but I mean, as long as you have one, you're usually uh, not that, in not that bad of shape. No, no rhyming intended. So, alright, get that mistake. So, mistake, definitely not bad. Uh, I'll take it. So... Bitch. There we go. <clears throat> what the flying piss buckets? Reveal cards in this hover deck. And special power driver. Oh, well, that's kind of annoying. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, man, go nuts. Two. Nope, nothing. Uh, people said you're going to quit Yu Gi Oh soon. Please don't. Uh, who's been saying I'm quitting Yu Gi Oh? I said repeatedly I'm not quitting Yu Gi Oh. I said that I'm going to retire this channel, and I'm probably just going to stream from now on. Um, I do have a couple more videos. They want to be like the uh, the Chronicles of Gajic Scapegoat, if you will. They're going to be like the last couple videos that really just spreads my message out um, in as easy of a way as I can, in the most direct way as I can, to kind of tell you guys like the Blackboard series. The Blackboard series I specifically did... Yeah, seriously, who's been saying that, that I'm quitting Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, please answer that. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Like I said, people's been, people's been saying you're quitting it. Like, who, who's saying that? Because um, I haven't seen anybody. Um, but yeah, may maybe there are. I have no idea. But um, So what they're going to be is they're going to be, again, like the Chronicles of Gage Scapegoat. What they're going to be is uh, they're going to be videos that basically in as, like, within reason. I'm going to try and make them as short as I possibly can. But to be fair, I mean, it's not necessarily the... Uh, the uh, easiest thing to do, narrow sh narrow all the shit that, um, that I've learned over the years. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make those into... In maybe they'll just be more Blackboard episodes. I haven't actually figured that out yet. But um, they're going to kind of tell uh, all the things that I've learned. And so that way we can kind of pick the, uh, the anti-meta community, if, if you will. We're going to kind of pick them up off the ground a bit. Because, I mean, let's be real. A lot of people that play anti-meta, they don't understand it in the slightest. And that's what I made my uh, Blackboard series for. Was to kind of teach... Uh, a lot of things that it took me a while to learn. Um, you know, I feel like the uh, the Ty Lopez of anti-meta, you know, th this took me years to, to know and to understand. I actually like Ty Lopez, but um, yeah, it took me a long time to understand. So 
I'm going to start, uh, that's what I started my Blackboard series for, but my last couple of videos are going to be basically ideas like that, and then one final video to, uh, to thank you guys. And, um, like I said, I'll be streaming on this channel, um, for as long as I feel like it, really. Um, I'm not going away on Facebook, at least for the foreseeable future, and I'm not going away on Twitter, um, you know, at least for the foreseeable future, so no, I'm... But uh, the the last couple of videos on my main channel, like I'm I'm getting ready to, to post the last couple of videos. It's good. They're going to be spread out. They're going to be way spread out because what happens is I'm at 9.94 right now, and what I would like to do is to have my 1,000th video be my final video and have it be on my uh, channel's five year anniversary. I think that would be very special. I've kind of uh, talked about that a couple times, but uh, I'll, I'll mention it on my on my channel, on my main channel, and kind of get the rest of the, uh, like, kind of just get the message out to everybody else. And he's like, "What? You're quitting?" No, I'm not quitting. But uh, I guess I'll go over it real quick here. Like, I, I I feel like I've said everything I need to say. Like, I've been I've been doing this for five years. You know, I have more videos on my channel on a more consistent posting schedule. Not so much lately, but, you know, up until lately, I was m more consistent at posting, and I have more videos on my channel to this very day than guys like Slim, all right? You know, I think the world is Slim. Don't, don't, don't misinterpret that as me, as me attacking the guy or anything, but, like, they, I, I've said everything I need to say. I've sh I can't even name the amount of decks I've shown to countless people that are playable. You know, m anywhere from Mist Valley Ninjas to Dino Rabbit with one rabbit and three Hydrogeddon in the main deck, turning it into more of a battle phase control deck than anything else. Like, I have shown so many decks. Like, I've shown so many people so many decks are playable. You know what I mean? So at some point, it's like, okay, we get it. Uh, you know, what else You know, like what else do I have to say? You know what I'm saying? So, you are the heart of anti -meta. Heart and soul of Ant Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, hey, how goes mastering Kaiju? It's Kaiju, not Kaijus. It was another Yugi tuber. I want to keep him anonymous so I don't ruin a friendship with him. I don't really see the reason why that would ruin a friendship. I lit I just want to know. Um, ser seriously, tell me who that was. I really want to know who, who said I was quitting Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not going to start a shitstorm with him or anything. I just want to know. If you tell me, I give you my word. You will not hear another word from me about it. I literally just want to know who it is. Um, who is Slim? I'm sorry, I don't pay attention to Antimony. Slim's not an Antimony Yu Gi Oh! Uh, simply Slim Yu Gi Oh! Um, Slim X Team Symmetry, Slim X Team Cloud, uh, Slim X Rare Hunters. He's that fucking guy. <laughs> uh, Slim's a good buddy of mine. You know, but, like, yeah, I have more videos. I have, like, over 150, I think, more videos than he does. And he's been doing it probably two years longer than I have. You know, it's it's crazy. Yeah. Eternal Nightmare is kind of, kind of rapes the weathery, weather, weathery deck, as far as I know. Anyway, um... Artifact Moral Talk. Oh, okay. I don't really see why Moral Talk would say that. Uh, I know Moral Talk. Well, I don't know Moral Talk, but I, I've seen him more than once. You know, on my streams and whatnot. But no, I'm, I'm not quitting Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I'm going to be retiring my primary channel, and I'm going to be streaming on my second channel. Uh, but how goes Mastering Kaiju? Um, I mean, I haven't played Kaiju in a little while. Um, I've been focusing a little bit more on other decks. Because, I mean, you get to a certain point, you've played a deck for so long, you kind of you kind of get bored of it. And I'm not saying I got bored necessarily with Kaiju, but I did, there were other decks I wanted to, to keep playing. So, so yeah. Replenishment Squad. I've never even heard of that card. Is that a new card? Is that mine now? Jesus H, what is up with these draws? Alright, what is it? Um, you can spell it. Uh, uh, you can special on the banished card, but that's not nice. I would rather not to deal with that shit. Can you message me Slim's main channel? I'm just curious. He only has one channel. I just named a bunch of... The names he's given the channel, because he's he switched it around quite a bit over the years. 
That motherfucker's been doing it since, like, 2010, I think. His uh, Slum X Team Symmetry channel's been around since, like, 2011. I think he... His, Slum X Team, Pan, Team Purple Panda was, uh... Pretty sure it was 2011. Eternal Nightmares, this card single-handedly just, at face value, it seems like it rapes the Weatherly deck. I love Antimeta ever since I saw King Tiger Wengu. <laughs> I love King Tiger Wengu. Um, that card, like, if Zodiac becomes tier 0 or something like that, like, they rape Dracos, but they don't they don't kill uh, Zodiac. I mean, I'm playing three ki King Tiger Wengu in every deck I play. Like, Triple Strike, Triple King Tiger Wengu, Solemn Warning, like, I'm just going for everything. I got Ryo, I got Mistake, <laughs> I got this, oh, oh, okay, I see what he was doing, so, whatever, it's getting popped, <laughs> pop, do you think Necros are still broken, no, not in the slightest, um, I think they're good, uh, don't, get, let me rephrase that, they're good, but they're not broken, necessarily. I never thought Necros were broken, I think they were just rituals done correctly, you know, if you guys notice, they didn't win Nats, they didn't win Worlds. I don't even remember what Nationals they won, but I know that a lot of other decks were winning. Like, fuck, in that, I'm pretty sure it was in that format, Evolos took a top eight at a, at a top four, actually, into Nationals. You know, like, the fact remains that just Necros were not this super broken tier zero deck. Summon a fucking Fossil Dyna against them. Equip Moon Mirror Shield, and unless they have Dark Hole, they're not breaking your field. Like, it was a very... It was a deck that I think a lot of people blew way out of proportion. And I understand why. Don't get me wrong. I understand why. Because, I mean, if you look at the deck, it's like, well, shit. You know what I mean? Like, they, they get a Trishula effect, and they get this effect, and they get that effect, and they get to draw, and blah, blah, blah. But, like, at the end of the day, the, the deck was just rituals done correctly. And it really wasn't much more than that. At least in my opinion, it wasn't. Really? Another fucking card of the minus? And I'm not even I'm not even setting the nightmares, no reason to. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, is there a second of is there a secret of Wang Hu? I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Um, I think it looks so cool with a mitt. Yeah, I agree. Um, I love Necros because you can ritual, ritual, and summon a Necros ritual. Yeah, I mean, like, I, don't, I don't know. I never, ever, 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 ever liked a Necros, but, I mean, you know, I don't I don't hate the deck or anything. It's just... I got tired of people saying it was tier zero because that's fucking stupid. Um, unaffected by the effects of monsters with the same... Uh, card deck. Really? They gave him a fucking... Uh, they, oh, my, are you serious? They gave him a fucking masterpiece? Why? That's so wrong. I'm probably going to lose to that fucking card. Damn. <laughs> that blows. Gage, this is why you make an extra deck. I know, and I, I, I understand that I will run into that situation. It sucks. Christons? What are you talking about Christons? This isn't a fucking... Drake combatants. What the fuck? Alrighty then. Oh my god. Why? This is such shit. Whatever. We're going card of demise for three. I don't know why. We're just doing it. Ugh. That horn of heaven would have been nice not too long ago. You fucks. Yeah, I don't think I have an answer to that. I don't play Moon Mirrors in this deck. So, that blows. You know, I don't play Kaiju in here, so that doesn't work. That'd have been nice a turn, ago, turn or two ago. Yeah, that's it. Blows. I'm gonna cry. You guys are gonna witness me crying on stream. How about that? That make you happy, you sick bastards.
Uh, Alrighty. Eh? Need to go first. Ah! What is it with me in drawing two Luna every game? What the frack? It's what, game three, I think? Two or three? I don't know. And set three. Alrighty. I should have just MST the diagram straight away. No, oh, okay, there we go. Okay, it's not cost. That's good. Um, and you're gonna get hit with ignition. And then very likely he's going to uh, attribute that. And I mean, I hope that he hits. Like the Horn of Heaven, so I can chain it. Oh wait, no, that doesn't doesn't work that way. That's kind of annoying. I would have liked to play against this fucking deck a second ago, because the the deck that I showed you guys with the Master of Strikes it was built to beat this deck. This was just kind of a like I, I laid everything out on like a Microsoft Excel sheet, and I was like, okay, well, what um, what does the best against this? What does the best against this? That kind of thing. Um, yeah, you can eat shit. I'm I'm negating that. <laughs> Alrighty, you're gonna pop the MST, obviously. I'm going to chain the MST, and I'm going to hit my Moral Talk. So. Not the best position to be in, but not the worst. How good is the deck you're playing? Also, Moral Talk, one stream actually cried when they summoned a Masterpiece because of the cancer. <laughs> His speech for a match is... Hope no match. Yeah. Um... How good is the deck I'm playing? I It's still early in the testing phases. I mean, obviously, this dude just, you know, fucking having carded demise and, oh, I'm going to search more, and I'm going to do this. Like, yeah, obviously, he's going to win that one. You know, if he has that many fucking resources, then, yeah, sure, he's going to win. I'm going to look for him again. It's like Sakiri, what his name is. Come on. Fuck me. Come on. Fuck. Whatever. <laughs> Name of the deck I'm playing. Ah, uh, hell. We'll play some Tune Demise. I'm just gonna goof around with some shit first. Hate your Dracos because of the BS they do. Dude, every fucking meta deck does bullshit. That's how the fucking game goes. DDDs. I don't understand how they aren't the best meta deck. Um, it depends. I mean, Zodiac, True Draco, one Nats. Yeah, I think they want another Nats. I don't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, I say that maybe the best deck is, is probably correct. I don't know. Really, if True Draco does not cause card demise get hit. Oh, it will. It probably, well, it probably will. I, it wouldn't surprise me for a split second to hear that it got banned or limited. You know, even semi just because of that. <sighs> Cute. I don't like DDDs. They just fucking special some out of their asshole again. Yeah, you know, actually, I'm not even going to bother playing against this. It's the same fucking bullshit. I mean, it's it's an irrelevant... I mean, it's not irrelevant, but... You know, it's an outdated deck because of the links. So, I mean, you can eat a dick. <laughs> um... Well, only meta decks. Well, that's fucking unfortunate. Oh, my God. Fine, I'll host. Uh, we'll play some Time Lords. That's the main deck I've been playing. Yeah, but they are monarchs with cancer. Pretty much. I've been out of this community for a while now. Is that Oscar, Oscar, Oscar? The dude on my Facebook, the three Oscars? It's the only Oscar I know. So, I mean, if, I, if you're a different Oscar, my apologies. That's not a bad hand. Not a great hand, but not a bad hand. I'll take it. Oh dear. Let's get forward a bit. 
Yeah, I really hope this dude just, like, summons all of his shit, because then I'm, I'm probably just going to cameo on one card. I mean, I could Lazzy on everything back, which would be pretty funny, actually. All right, Gaga -ga is still somewhat good. I don't think they were ever good, personally. Um, but no, I mean, I haven't, I haven't even seen anybody even attempt to play the deck, so I would say no. Oh dear, what's he going to go into? What the fu oh, he's going to go into the, the, the Dark Matter. With links, no, you can't XYZ spam. Um, no. Uh, I mean, at least it's a lot harder. But I mean, I don't think, I don't think Gaga Ga were ever good. Like, literally ever. <laughs> but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm totally wrong. But, you know, that's how I see it. Cute. Ah, uh, fuck me. Get rid of the last the energy of two. Math man. Let him. Oh, fuck off. Ugh. I hate people like that. Like, say meta only or something, but don't get pissed because, you know, I'm not playing the same deck everybody else is, homie. It, really the same douchebag? I didn't even notice. Same douche canoe. I don't want to. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. Ugh, what is up with my lava lamp? You guys see me keep looking over here. Check out my lava lamp. It's all fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Get your white stone. Well, the dark matters are. We get to my favorite XYZ for doing so. Right now it's Mermel followed by Trench Warfare. Wait, what are you saying is Mermel followed by Trench Warfare? Like, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you bringing up here? What in the fuck? What? Masked Dragon. Is this 2002 or something? Like, did we go back in time and I'm just not aware of it, or... I do it over anyway. A fucking okay. I it, I I'm I'm out of here. I'm not fucking dealing with that shit. <laughs> Fucking uh, D prison mass dragon. I need to play against good players. I'm sorry. I probably a real nice guy. That is a very scrubby blue eyes deck. <laughs> I'm surprised he had alternate in there. Anyways, um, what was it? Uh, Merle's our favorite deck. I'm playing trench warfare. <laughs> well, warfare's one word. I have to get the, the, what do you call it? I have to be the grammar Nazi for a second. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to build trench warfare right here. So, two lava golems. Let's see if I can... Oh. So then, one commandant. Two necro valleys. If you, if you guys don't know what Trench Warfare is, I'll explain it here in a second. We got then, uh, Triple Marshmallow. Triple Descoala. No, I, I, I replace it with Giant Germ, but I'm not totally sure. I'm kind of back and forth on both of them. Whatever. Um, so, uh, two Chain Strike. One day, did he play one day a piece? I feel like he didn't. Triple tremendous fire. Yes, I re you really play this card. You play three of it. This is no bullshit. Oh shit. Yeah, that's the same Oscar I'm thinking of. Hey man, it's been a fucking long time. Uh, 
shit. Okay, so Trouble Tremendous Fire. What the hell? I gotta remember the whole deck list now. Trouble Just Desserts. You play two Secret Barrel. I'm probably gonna play three. So then, if you guys don't know what Trench Warfare is, it is triple Magic Cylinder, triple Dimension Wall. <laughs> so this is not a, this is not a joke at all. But uh, the entire point of the deck is it's a burn deck, obviously. But what it is, it's a deck that it's a mind game deck. If you play this as a normal burn deck, you're gonna fail every single day of the week. But you kind of you get inside your opponent's head, basically. Tremendous fire. Um, he played Book of Moon at one point, but now I'm trying to remember the uh, rest of the deck list. Yep, cylinder and D wall times three. Yeah, it's the whole point of the deck. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, uh, while I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to go over here and look at the profile that I made with Tron a couple months ago. That, that video did really well, actually. Like, my videos usually get like 200 views a piece. I got like 500. But yeah, it's a mind game deck. The entire point of Trench Warfare is to get inside your opponent's head and have them, like, afraid to attack you, basically. It is just glorious. And I remember that uh, one day a couple months ago, I took it on YGO Pro, and I went, like, 7-1 and one with it. <laughs> I won, like, three matches with it. It's just... People just... They they get scared. Oh, yeah, there we go. Grandma. There we go. Grandma was a card I forgot. Why the hell is this card still at one? Can someone explain that to me? I think Konami forgot about this card. I really do. So, comment on two. Oh, right, the wave motions. He also plays triple wave motion cannon. So, triple wave motion cannon. Which, like, the entire point, you're not even gonna, like, burn your opponent with that more often than not. The entire point is that you, they start wasting their MSTs on it. So, let's see what else. The trim fires, we know. Oh, yeah. How could I forget? It's the greatest card in the game. Triple Goats. Which, that's another card that, like, once people start seeing it, though, they're like, oh, no, I need to start swinging. You know what I mean? Um, the MSTs, yeah, he plays MST. I might play MST. Um, I'm going to throw a macro in there. He plays DeFi and macro. I'm just going to play DeFi. Or, I'm just going to play macro, rather. You are not going to fucking... You are not going to restart my computer, actually. So, yeah. The double chain strike. Yep, yeah, that's all good. Um, macro. I don't think he plays Secret Barrel, actually. Actually, he might. He might. He might. He might. One second. Define macro. Three cylinder, three D wall. Triple just desserts. Double ceasefire. Double uh, Secret Barrel. Yeah, I'm missing something here, but whatever. It's close enough. Uh, hell. I don't know. What should I play, guys? It's my final spot. You should go to locals unless you want to face Meta Cancer and Ash Blossoms. Well, that's the only way you get better, dude. Uh, back to work I go. Enjoy Trench Warfare. Thanks for stopping by. Yep. All right, whatever. So we'll just play. Uh, we'll play Book of Moon. We'll do that. So, yep. And the only card in the extra deck you need. Alright, so. Fucking hell. Okay, I'll host that. Because nobody wants to play for some reason. So. Alrighty, Trench Warfare. The entire point make your opponent scared to attack you. Um, my. It, Trent told me the story. It was one of his friends. Um, one of his friends back in, like, Taladad. Or, no, it was, like, Light Swarns and, and, you know, stuff like that. It was right after Teledead format, or right in Teledead format. Like, people got... He got so tired of, like... He was one of those uh, old war, World War historians. And, uh... 
he liked the idea though of like making your opponent afraid to attack. Essentially, he got tired of the quote unquote heavy swinging meta game, so he built uh, the idea, which was trench warfare. He's like, okay, I'm gonna make it so that you're afraid to attack me, you know. And it's like, okay, you, I have one face down. Uh, you have a blue eyes, let's say, in play, and I have. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. Uh, um. Okay, so you're you know you have a blue eyes on the field. I have one face down. We're both at, like, 2,000 points. If you attack me and it's, like, an MST or something, you win. But if you... But if you don't... But if it's not an MST and it's, like, a cylinder, you lose. So... So I'm going to go Tremfire right off the bat. <laughs> the card's just funny. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. See if he blinds, because you know he will. I'll blame him. I probably would, too. Hit the MST, please. Please hit the MST. Doesn't hit the MST. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, once he, once he has his Tornado Dragon done, I mean, that's it. He only has one. So, yep, he's going to hit the MSTs. I kind of figured he would. Let's go ahead and space that. Don't have a choice. I have to blind there. And, uh, damn it. Alright, so, is number 11 Big Eye still good? Yeah, it's still decent. Nobody plays it, though, because there's no 7. Like, there's no 7 spam deck in the game. Yeah. Excuse me. So. Draw the goats. The goats. <laughs> Let's go with the wave cannon now. Let's put that into play. I really hope he doesn't play any, like... It, oh. Ah, really? You had to fucking macro me? That's fucked up, dude. Granted, he's playing the the met, meta, meta fist, met, met, metal fist, metal fist in your asshole. I, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, meta fist. Yeah, I was right. All right. So you can banish top of the cards then against three hundred time range. Whatever. So, well, yeah, you're getting the shit lava golemed out of you next turn. Let's go with the goats. The goats! Alright, I'm done. See, but this is exactly the kind of game he's playing right now where he's just summoning everything and swinging. That is exactly what Trench Warfare wants. It wants you to just pick up, like, to ignore everything I do and to just swing everything. That is what Trench Warfare wants. That's what Trench Warfare loves. So. What's the deck I could buy that's good but wouldn't get hit? Have you seen my channel, good sir? Have you seen the countless budget videos I've done? And <laughs> Marshmallow. <laughs> Marshmallow too good. Uh, Marshmallow OP. <laughs> and now, good sirs, and maybe any mams that may be watching, Lava Golem, bitch. <laughs> if I pull this off against what's like one of the new big decks, like I'm, I'm going to laugh. All right, man. So you're you're losing life points in th variables of a thousand. What the fuck is that? It's probably bad. When your opponent special summons monster, destroy it. Okay, great. It's, uh, your possession is banished. Well, this goes face up on the field. You can target one card your opponent controls and banish it. That's 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 a problem. That's a problem. Uh, now I'm wishing I would have gotten rid of my wave motion last turn, which I was thinking about doing. Okay, you're going to swing into the last token. Okay, just don't do anything else. If that's all, go ahead. Oh, wait, no, I can't launch my wave much because I'm fucking macro. What the hell? What? Destroy all monsters on the field. Well, Gage, you must have misclicked on something. <sighs> it's kaiju, not kaijus. Fuckers. Ah, goddamn, that sucks. That really sucks. Um. If you control macro, I don't control macro. My opponent controls macro. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, uh, man, now, like, unless he gets rid of the macro, which I don't see why he would, he'd be an idiot to get rid of macro. I'm just gonna have to hope that Lava Golem stays for four more turns. Which, I mean, is, it might. I don't think so, but it might. Uh, can we summon without tripping? 
Uh, do you have an actual way around my marshmallow? Because right now you don't, it seems. Oh, yeah, because it's going to get banished, and then he's going to... What the fuck is that? Monster in your graveyard. Why the hell would you play that? Um, detach and exhibit This car going to be... Cool. Doesn't do shit. Yeah, I mean, that single-handedly will win him the game. That, that soul absorption. He's going to keep gaining life and gaining life and gaining life. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna dimension wall you. Just try and get some damage going. What? I was gonna say. Okay. Unless I top deck MST, which would be fucking hysterical. But I don't think it's gonna happen. No, I didn't think so. Shuffle that back in the deck. That'll trigger, I think. Or is it something else? I don't know. He's a Jew, he's getting demonetized. Nah, nah, nah. Yep, I'm kind of boned. I mean, it'd be hilarious if he, like, paid life points and then I was able to... Wait a minute, that's 2,300. Okay, yeah, he, I, he, he's probably got this. Or no, he, he's, he's got this. Uh, banish a uh, metal from your hand. God damn or a metaphys from here. God damn it. Seriously, fuck soul absorption, man. <laughs> it's the cause of so many, like, FTKs and shit. Uh, or not FTKs, but, like, degenerate loops and shit. That was uncalled for. That wave motion cannon was doing absolutely nothing to you, good sir. I am so salty right now because I should have won this game, but because of the fucking macro. Literally him having one card in a 40-plus card deck. That is the only reason he won that goddamn game. And that is that is bothering me right now. Uh, subscribe to Team APS. Fuck off, dude. I'm <laughs> I actually like Paul. He actually gave me a... Like, I don't know Paul all too well, but uh, I like the guy. Yeah, He actually gave me a uh, guest upload like, a little over a year ago. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But I mean, come on, you're, you're, you're advertising on YGO Pro. I don't even think that's him, to be honest, but whatever. So, alright. Uh, hand could be better, hand could be worse. Let's give you a Trempire. And let's give you another Trempire. Let's give you a Macro now. Alright, go ahead. Not a very good hand. Ow, that's my fucking elbow. Oh, goody. Am I playing against Zodiac? Are you Senju? That's... Uh, I'm so tired of you, Senju. I can't even tell you. It's not a lost matchup. I can't, I can't beat you, Senju. Play some... Oh, I was gonna play some Time Lords. There we go. Play some motherfucking Time Lords. Yeah, I can tell you right now I'm not going two hours. My back's already hurting. <laughs> I'll make it to an hour, though. I give you my word, I will go to an hour. Because so. last time I did cut the, sh the stream short, I just wasn't feeling too hot, but um, I, I, will, I will make it an hour. So. What is up with this lava lamp? I guess that's what happens when you get a lava lamp from Walmart. <laughs> yes, Walmart still, or not Walmart, Kmart. But yes, Kmart's still exist, believe it or not. I have one in my hometown. It's dead. Still around, but it's dead. I'm sad that Galactic God and Waffles quit. I, I, uh, I mean, Galactic God was great. Um, I, I got nothing bad to say about Galactic God. I, I never knew the guy, never met the guy. Never had a problem with him, though. I mean, like, and for what everybody else says about how great of a guy he was, even my friends talk about what great of a guy he was. I mean, he was a good Yugi Zuber. Absolutely was. Uh, Waffles, Waffles was probably the most... He was the PewDiePie of Yugi Tubing. That's not a good thing. <laughs> I don't mind... I mean, I'd imagine he's probably a cool dude in person. Like, I, I've i met very few Yugi Tubers that aren't actually really chill guys. Like, the, like I've met, I th what, two, maybe? Or talk to like two of them that are that are assholes, but I mean, so, I mean it's 
Most YouTubers are, uh, are, are really cool. Most of them. Let's go and just get a Lazen to play. Get something going. So actually I like about Time Lords. They always shuffle back. So I mean, if you're drawn really shitty, I mean, it keeps shuffling your deck back. So, I mean, unless it's just not your fucking day, you should be okay. What the hell? Feast on the wild level. What the hell is this? Up to two level five warrior types from the hand of gravy. They're fixing it. Cool. If you try to make an exceed or something, I'm probably going to scold it. So, I mean, go nuts. Does my fucking voice keep cracking? God damn it. How's this? Oh, there's that uh, new legendary like ocean guy deck, I think. Yeah, there's this dude. Uh, especially when you banish all monsters your opponent controls, this card to declare an attack this turn. Can I destroy a battle of card effects? Also, one of my favorite. Wow, that's pretty good, actually. Once you're in your turn, as many of your opponent's banished cards in the field as possible, and if you the first battle or effect becomes doubled. Not bad, actually. I like that card. I might, I might play that deck. That's actually a very strong effect. So can I be destroyed by battle of card effects? Also. Unaffected by spell. So, I mean, it cannot be destroyed by battle, cannot be destroyed by card effects, and it's unaffected by spell or trap effects. It is still affected by monster effects, but, I mean, what monster effect is there The like... I mean, there's there's banishing effects, but there's not a lot of them. So, I mean, if you if it was, like, cannot be tributed or something like that, that'd be actually really powerful. Like, you, you could easily make a, uh, like, a lockdown, essentially, out of that. Just, like, pack triple strike face down and stuff like that. But, yeah. Alas, poor Yorick. For I barely knew her. The fuck am I talking about? <laughs> hey Gage, you should watch my videos. You need to turn your volume loud though. I have. You need to turn. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, maybe. I don't really watch like a lot of. There's a lot of YouTubers I don't really watch. Like I, I don't like the majority of YouTubers in the community I don't watch. But um. Maybe I'll check you out. I have no idea. We'll see what happens. Uh, Zemco40 hated. Uh, by the community, no. Do I like him? No. Not in the slightest. I mean, like, you can say... I'll, I'll say who gives a fuck. Plus, I'm on my way out, so... Uh, <laughs> but I mean, like... Uh, he has always just struck me as kind of a tool. I remember I asked him, because uh, he was saying, Hey, I, I want some uh, some guest uploads or something like that. I said, I said, hey, would this interest you? And he was like, LOL, no. Okay. You know, no reason to be a prick about it, bro. You know, and then there was that. And then uh, he did... It's not really my story to tell, though. Um, but I'll, I'll give a very brief synopsis of it. That, like, uh, my friend Casey, um, Capricorp20783, um, one of his friends died. And his friend was, like, a huge uh, MCL40 fan. And so... They asked him to go on stream, which is kind of like a remembrance of his friend's stream or something like that. And he was like a prick the whole time and like wasn't really talking to anybody. And was just, I don't know why. Anyway. Yeah, he's always just been a, a prick in my ass. Um, according to Slim, he's a good guy, but I, I, I don't like him personally. Whatever. You have to when Yumi direct from your head to Graveyard. He was on the field of card games. He's facts. Eh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Scolding too strong, man. It's way too strong. The uh, the the maxi not the best draw right now, but it could be potentially. Yeah, keep shuffling your shit back. Anyway, uh, I thought he got into drama a while ago. Yeah, he got into drama a while ago, but it was just him being a fucking idiot. Uh, and I, I don't feel bad about saying this in, in, in the slightest. Uh, he was being a fucking idiot. He, uh, he, when they did the YouTuber awards or whatever the hell it was, um, at the very beginning of it, there was a scene that he filmed of himself where it was him, uh, shirtless pretending to jacket to a Yu-Gi-Oh magazine. He's just, <sighs> and then it gets worse because then on Facebook when someone's like, dude, that was really screwed up, I didn't need to see that, or, like, 
I think so. I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to say that before I say anything else. I think that someone said that, like, their little brother was watching or something like that. And his response to all of that was like, well, I don't care who is watching. It's my channel, you know. I don't care what you guys say. And then one of the one of his lines was, I'm glad I put that image in your head. Like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my that's my M. Cole 40 rant. All right, I'm done. I'm not talking about M. Cole 40 anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Lazy on the timeline. I could, I could grab Lazy on. I could grab Zafian. Man, I, like an advanced draw or something would have been great with this. But I need to keep stuff on the field because I've already scolding twice. So. I'm not shuffling any of his stuff back, though. There's no reason to. But I'll keep burning him. <laughs> Putting the, uh, the Sky is Over lyrics in there. Yeah, Sky is Over is a great song. If you guys don't know that, Serge, Serge, Serge uh, Tankian, I think, T Tankian, I, I don't know. He was the lead singer of uh, System of a Down, uh, or is, I don't know, they might be, uh, anyway, uh, he has a song called Sky is Over that I've put in my intro clip probably a half a dozen times, maybe more. Uh, it's a great song, so I mean, I, I play it, and I like it. Living in remote, sky is over. Well, of course he plays duality this turn. Why wouldn't he? Uh, man, if I had like a, a, a Zafion or something, I could really turn this game around. But he's probably gonna like he's probably gonna kill me this turn. I only have two thousand points. Oh no, heavy dust storm. A card that is very little, if anything, to me. Sky is over. Don't you want to hold me, baby? Disappointed, going crazy. Yeah, this is not a good... Ah, oh, the solemn morning. Living in remorse, sky is over. I got nothing. He attacks me. It's over. But he's not attacking me. He must be scared of that there face down. I mean, if that's not a monster, I'm still alive. But, I mean, not necessarily in the best position. Man, a, a Zafion or, like, a Slumber, I, I could live with that. But, I mean, like, you know, when when you open four Time Lords and, like, a, a, a Scolding, and then you draw into another Scolding, and then draw into another Scolding, I mean, yeah, I, I'm probably going to end up going down to two Scolding. As much as I hate doing that, but I'm, yeah, I think I'm probably going to have to. Six Scar, Buster Blader, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Tribute. What the fucking goddamn shit? <laughs> when I open broke. Well, yeah, any deck's good when you open broke. No shit. <laughs> this felt like Deadpool there for a second. What the fuck? That is the coolest name ever. <laughs> yeah, if he does storms it, that's it. No, he didn't dust storm. I don't know why exactly. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and chain Oasis and hope it stays. It's not going to, but I'm going to hope it stays. Yeah, I kind of think those should be back to the front, so I'm going to go and put that in after this game. Living in remorse, sky is over. Wow, he did not get rid of it. He must have something else. Banish one water monster you control until the end of his turn. Not seeing anything that really hurts me. Uh, is cool, I don't care. Ah, uh, there's the dust storm. I think he realizes. I don't think he realizes that uh, my meta ion doesn't die. If he had chained it, that'd be game. But I mean, you know. I'm putting too much thought into it, guys. So, go ahead, shuffle that back. Zaf, thank you! Fuck! Took me way too long to draw Zafion. God damn. Oh, yeah, he's a water monster. So, he's a 200 attack now. Yay! Uh, watch him, like, fucking do something. It's, what are you, you going to do? you have something here? Oh, you could... Ch oh, no. Solemn strike. You... <laughs> Whatever. 
Hmm. See, I feel like he's gonna... I guess our damage to his original level is... Uh, higher. His original level... Uh, water monster control... Wait, what the fuck does that say? If a water monster you control whose original level is... Uh, battles and possible to destroy that monster. Um, man, I... It's so tempting to play that A draw. Yo, know, yeah, I'm low on threats. I gotta get something going here. Chain, like, bribe. <laughs> I don't fucking know. No, chain magic drain. That would fuck me off. Okay, yep, those do nothing. And... That does nothing. Cool, that's that's game. Drew nothing! <sighs> that's fantastic. Alright. Oh, yeah, it's a match. That's cute. Well, MST's going against him. Uh, Decree goes in against him. Curses? Nah, curse don't go in. As much as I love curse, I love playing curse any chance I can get. Uh, shit. That'll go in, and desires. I always side desires out, because I don't like banishing my, uh, what do you call it? I don't like banishing my side out cards. Side deck cards. Uh, are you into movies? I think everybody is. Uh, I'm, I'm a horror movie guy. Um, I, I also like comedies. I think everybody likes comedies. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, uh, I'm a horror movie guy. His name used to be 60 Card ABC Skybuster. You see, that's a better name. That's a much better fucking name. <laughs> what? That is the coolest name ever! <laughs> Look at me. I'm a teenage girl. I'd rather be anywhere than here. I'm all about long sullen silence, followed by a mean comment, followed by more silence. So what's it gonna be? A long sullen silence or a mean comment? Uh, I use that on my girlfriend. She doesn't like it very much. She, like, mumbles and says something like that. I'm just like, oh, look at me. I'm a teenage girl. Like, Shut up. <laughs> Remember, marry somebody you want to annoy daily. That is how it goes. What the fuck is wrong with my... Oh, uh, to enable to... What the fuck? All right. Sorry, my phone was being stupid. <sighs> I'd rather be anywhere than here. So yeah, bro, if you could, like, make a move. I, oh, come on. Oh, uh, did he just scoop that game? Really? I'm not gonna bitch, but re really? He just scooped the game? Apparently, because he's, he's siding again. Alrighty. Don't you want to hold me, baby? I have seven subscribers. Motherfucker, my other channel has almost 2,000. What the hell? I have to make an actual video whoring the channel out, so. Yeah, but I played Slifer to be exact. I had to take it out because they're no good. Um, yeah, I mean, Slifer, like, Slifer, I played a deck called Slifer Ninjas a couple years ago. <laughs> it's actually almost five years ago I played that deck. It was really funny. Ugh. Does nobody want to play anymore? It seems like nobody wants to play anymore. <sighs> People. Play some uh, keepers around the stream out, I guess. Just, uh, I don't know about keepers. We'll play something. Man, do I miss three skill drain. I cannot even tell you how much I miss three skill drain. I do want to make some kind of lockdown in the near future. It's just a matter of what. Actually, I went to, like, page, I think, like, 16, 14, 16 of YouTube trying to find some kind of lockdown. And nobody's got any lockdowns that I haven't seen a million times already. So that kind of upsets me a bit. All right. That's a much better hand. Holy balls. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I really hope my roommate didn't hear that. Me. Holy balls. <laughs> you guys didn't hear that, okay? Nobody if anybody asked, you did not hear that. Slifer Ninja just doesn't seem that bad. Oh, it'd be it would be terrible now. It was it was a fun deck before. It would just be straight up garbaggio now. Alright, so this dude's got something in like some kind of hand trap, so I'm not even gonna bother using the effect of this the uh what do you call it? I'm not even going to use uh, Winter Bell. I 
I had a dude the other day that did that shit. He was like, oh my god, you met a sheep. I'm like, motherfucker, like, I hate, I never say, motherfucker, do you know who I am? Ugh, that drives me crazy. <laughs> Wind Witch isn't meta? Okay, first, Wind Witch is not meta, you fucking dunce. Re meta? <laughs> Wind Witch? When was the last time Wind Witch topped? Because I haven't seen it in a while. Has anybody else? I, I'm, I'm all ears. Has anybody else seen Wind Witch top in quite some time? Because I sure as hell haven't. It'd be like someone playing Necroz, like, right now this very second. Someone, oh, I hate meta. It's like, dude, it was like fucking two years ago. It hasn't been two years since Wind Witch top last, but you get the idea. <laughs> Motherfucker, do you know who I am? <laughs> Abyss Act. I hate this deck. It's not even that it does anything that great. I just hate it because I hate pendulums. Everybody knows how much I hate pendulums. That's just beating a dead horse that's already been resuscitated and beaten to death again. Cute. Uh, my opponent's card effects. He's special an actor. Who cares? <sighs> I'm probably just gonna. What do you call it? I'm just gonna crystal wing it anyway. What the hell? the hell? Alright, um... Pendles is target one level 4 lower monster opponent controls and destroy it. Oh, no, you can have the you can have the Mermelia, I don't care. It did its job. I couldn't play... You could play Antimeta, Obnoxious, Celtic Guard, L Lockdown Turbo. I don't even know what the fuck that is, but link it to me if it's real, because that sounds hilarious. Ugh. I took Exodia Lockdown to a regional and went 5-3 with it. <laughs> So close to topping, so close. I actually started out 03 and I had to win five in a row and I won five in a row. <laughs> I think it's the fact I got a buy that uh, that kind of killed me there. But it was pretty funny just because like it was you know like oh okay frog Mars, cool I'll I'll beat you and then like black wings cool I'll two o you and it, it was just it was a weird regional man. Really one you pendulum for one. Fucking hell man. Oh I see you're gonna be cute. Yeah, um, I don't know whether to scythe you or bottomless the exceed. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just wait. Don't you want to hold me, baby? Is it, wait, no, seriously, is Obnoxious Celtic Guard Lockdown, is that a real thing? Like, I, I want to know this, is that a real thing? Really, you're just gonna fucking say, oh, fine. I ain't gonna bitch. Well, it's not a lock. They can't die by battle, so talking. No, it, that's not a lock. Um, let's go with Mermilio again. It, it, like Mermilio, everybody knows how much I love Mermilio, but it's just it's just such a good leadoff card. Like you can just lead with Mermilio, even if it dies. It already gave you a plus one, sixteen hundred attack. It's not bad. Like people do not give Mermilio enough credit. <laughs> Shit, I did not read that. And that's what I get. I'm gonna scoop, because I deserve to lose that game. That's what I do a lot of times. Like, if I find myself, if I find myself being lazy and is not reading cards, I'll just scoop it up, because I deserve it. I usually do so much better than this, and then I get on stream, and I just fucking choke away every game. Ah, uh, fucking hell. We'll end it with, tri with uh, some Trench Warfare, and that guy will just... Pizza. Cool. I want pizza real bad right about now. Oh, uh, shit. Use the deck I'm going to give you to send it through common on through spy through recruiters to cyber end. To uh, why? <laughs> it's not a very good build, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you. It's not. Oh dear. Alright, well, there's that. That's cool, I guess. I 
Even though we can't afford the skies over. I think I'm actually gonna add Spellbook of Secrets and play a play a Spellbook engine in my uh, well the Spellbook of Knowledge engine into my uh, what do you call it into my whatever two deck or whatever three deck. What do you think of my deck list? I don't think it's very good, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> like you're using a lot of well for one Judgment's banned for Christ's sake. Uh, skill drain's not, you know, skill drain's at one, not two. You know, MST, I wouldn't play MST in the main deck of GKs. Especially because, you know, you should be playing Bribe and you're not playing Bribe. Roll Tribute's not at two. Uh, Stell is terrible. Like, S Spy's outdated. Like, dude, that, that's that's not a good list. I'm sorry, Oscar. It's not. Uh, hell. Alright. Yeah, you're gonna do that. That's cute. Really? You fucking kaiju over my marshmallow? Fuck yourself, man. Oh, okay, that's cute. Maybe I should build uh, Kaiju Warfare. It's another deck my friend Trent has. Okay, I'm going to sell under you for 3k right off the bat. Cute. Ah, uh, hell. Let's go ahead and do that. Talking smack about your own deck list. Well, yeah, it's an outdated deck list, homie. <laughs> what part What part of it's an outdated deck list do you not get, dude? <laughs> uh, I think it was my exact deck list card for card. I don't remember that. Whatever. It's not talking smack, by the way. That's got criticism. If I was talking smack, I'd be talking about you're a shit player and blah, blah, blah but I'm not, I'm not that guy. Because I don't, I don't think, I don't think bad deck list necessarily mean shit player. You know what I mean? Because like, do you remember when Zodiac first came out? Like those deck lists were were pretty weird. Like I'm not gonna say they were bad necessarily, but they were weird. What the fuck are you playing Sanctum on your own turn for? Anyways, but you guys see what I'm saying? Like the deck lists are always weird, at least when decks first come out. And that deck list. Was the the GK deck list? I it definitely could have been improved, but I mean, obviously, it was a really outdated deck list. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about? Cute. Um, yeah, I got nothing for that. Uh, six card engine, taking twelve engines to begin with, and sp uh, splitting the terrible engines from the good. Yeah, it's more or less how I do when I want to make a deck like that. Does he have a way around my Gamasiel's three hundred at uh, three thousand ass? Because it doesn't seem like it. Ooh, Koala 11 for 16. That should be a strike. That would piss me off. Well, it's only 100 points. Who cares? Yeah, why, why would I care about that? <laughs> Let's go ahead and trem fire you. But you guys see what he's doing? Like, he knows he didn't attack me, because he doesn't know what the face down is. He, see, he saw Cylinder already, he saw Marshmallow already. So you can tell he's not, you know, he's not sure what to attack and what not to. And now I'm playing cards like Tremfire, which show their bluffs. Um, kind of makes me want to put, like, artifacts in the deck, or, like, uh, even a card like uh, Silver Sentinel. I love Silver Sentinel. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I love that card. But uh, you guys see what I'm saying. It's, uh... Uh, once turned during the player's turn, a spell trap or monster bag. I don't know how he didn't negate my koala. Maybe he's waiting for, like, the crucial, you know. I put interplanetary purpley thorny dragon. Oh, God. You look atheist. I don't know what an atheist looks like, but yes, I am an atheist. It's, I, I what, what is, what does an atheist look like? Can, can you answer that for me? Because <laughs> I've never heard that. Well, actually, I have heard that before. When uh, Jacqueline Glenn uh, debated that one fucking religious nut idiot, I forget his name, but he was he was super homophobic and super fucking yeah. Anyway, um, I don't know. That was that was something that was interesting, I guess. But um, yeah, he was like, "You don't look like an atheist." Like, what does an atheist look like exactly? But yes, I'm an atheist. <laughs> Still got that Gamasiel ass. When a monster of yours dies, summon everything on twenty. Yeah, I knew it. Uh, okay. Have you seen my Facebook? <laughs> I post a lot of atheist memes. 
a lot of atheist memes, and I'm subscribed to the Amazing Atheist. I was, or I am subscribed. I think I still think I'm subscribed to uh, Armored Skeptic. But yeah, uh, I think I was subscribed to, um, what's his name, Sargon for a while, then he started saying a bunch of stupid shit on Twitter, so I'm like, eh, he can go fuck himself. Actually, I unsubscribed before then, but either way. Oh, hell. Well, let's see if uh, that works. Please warning that. I'm begging you. Don't you want to hold me, baby? Disappointed, going crazy. Damn it. He is pitching a lot of shit. <laughs> and then if I like top deck a, a, a wave motion cannon and he doesn't have anything for it, that's going to be fucking funny. How is he getting around my Gamasi, though? I, like, I, I want to know this. No, I haven't. I, I don't... Oh, you haven't seen my Facebook. TJ. Yeah, I'm, I'm subscribed to The Amazing Eight. TJ. Um, subscribed to Call of Dusty. How did I forget Dusty? I love Dusty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dusty's the shit, man. Alright, so I got a ceasefire down. So very likely what I could do from there, though, is that when he attacks... Uh, I can ceasefire. Like, when he finally finds something to, to get over the Gamasiel's ass, I can go ceasefire, he'll negate it. And then when he attacks direct, I can dimension wall him. Unless he doesn't want to attack, which actually, that would be hilarious. So. Do you like New Doria or New Guard or both? Or Necrogarden, you mean? Well, they're both pretty terrible. Necrogarden is not terrible, but I mean, like, in general... Eh. I mean, New Doria is not good at all. It's literally almost a man-eater bug, you know? Uh, if if not worse, actually, because, I mean, at least with a man bug, you can set it and flip it, or, like, you can set it and, like, have someone run into it, and then it's like, okay, well, like, they couldn't, you know, do X, Y, or Z to it, you know? It's going to attack on monsters. That's not polite. Why would you do that? Okay, so I'm going to ceasefire. Please negate my ceasefire. Please. I'm asking you as a favor. Please. He's thinking about it. He doesn't know, but he's thinking about it. It's gonna put you down to pretty low life, bro. Sure you want that to go through? <laughs> These are the kind of situations that trench warfare will put you... Okay, he negated it. Alright, good. Alright, alright. I'm going to make sure... Oh. Well, fuck. Which card your opponent control... Well, damn. <laughs> that was a lose-lose if I've ever seen it. God damn. That sucks, man. Because, I mean, now I... You know, that whole strategy kind of gets, gets put to rest. Dry lightning cracks across the sky. Hey, that's a good song, man. Don't hate. Say what you will about Carrie Underwood. She's very, 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 very talented. I actually like her a lot. Don't hate. Why you hating, bro? Here are the cards single purchase? Um, maybe. I have no idea. I've been playing this game for a long damn time. Odds are I've probably heard of it, but I don't know anything about it. So now I got a barrel here. Okay, I'm gonna set that. Okay, so now I'm putting a bit of a pickle. Really, Regeki? That's what you play against me, you fuck? Okay. Secret Barrel, please negate my Secret Barrel. That would be fantastic. Sanctum, what in the fuck? He scoops, that's it! How, how much life was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That was only 2k, though. Why would you... Why would you scoop to that? I don't know. Maybe he didn't have a... Maybe he didn't have a trap for that? I have no idea. So. 
Single purchase. Look it up. It's so bad. All right. Uh, look it up. <sighs> Single purchase. You have three more cards in your hand other than this card. And not, what the hell is up with my headset? If you have three or more cards in your hand other than this card and none of them are monsters, banish your entire hand face up, add one monster bring deck to your hand. And if you do, can I normal special summon any monster the rest of the turn except monsters with that name? Um Yeah, not very good. Banish your entire hand. Three or more cards in your hand other than this card, and none of them are monsters. I feel like that might not be terrible in like Infernity. Like if you I have no idea. If you... If you have... Yeah, actually, I'm not sure how far that even gets you. So, yeah, the card, card's pretty terrible. Snow glows white on the mound. Not a footage to be seen. It can be isolation. That's gonna be... What the hell is that? I, I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna go ahead and Google that real quick. It's probably a song from my playlist, because I'd imagine that's what you're looking through. Um, but, yeah, I have no clue what that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have seen that, the uh, Betraying the Martyrs, they uh, they made a, they, they made a parody of Frozen, the Let It Go. Um, and it's just like this big, like, super heavy metal version. It's actually really good. Like, it, it's, it's not just like one of those cheese, like, no, it's actually a really cool song to hear. But yeah, you guys, that's going to be it for my stream. I'm going to be back again sooner rather than later. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, babbling and rambling and losing with decks. Yeah, okay, so that's where that fucking... Grand Convergence was. Jesus Christ. Alright, you guys, it's gonna be it for me. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back relatively soon. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Had it with you all. Kaboom.